Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna try and install vCenter on my new server. Um, I did a video where I tried to upgrade my old vCenter just a few minutes ago. That was a total disaster. It didn't work. Uh, along the way I have apparently renamed the administrator of the old vCenter to have a capital A. Guess if the upgrading program or upgrading facilities was able to manage that? No way. So uh, now we're gonna be installing a new vCenter from scratch. Same ISO file that I downloaded, but uh, let's go to the computer and uh, start all over. vCenter, I'm using the vCenter appliance and this is the older version, version 6. Um, what this does is that it makes you it's you're able to have more servers in this view in the websphere client this is the websphere client there is also a web edition of the same thing but you can actually have more servers right now we're just watching my everyday 24 7 server here but i do also have other servers right now number 25 is on um, and it's also available that does that i can actually I have a server 2016 on here. I could move that over to my 24/7 server if I wanted to. And vCenter makes that really easy. So that was just a little bit about that. I'm going to be installing vCenter on a different machine. My new server, the Lenovo X3650 Model 4 that I have been making multiple videos about has not been added to this vCenter here. So that's very convenient. I can install the new vCenter over on that one. Um, but let's just see where we get the vCenter. If you go search for vCenter 6.5 download, the very first one you'll get is um, the one from VMware. So let's just pick that one. And this is actually this thing that we, we wanted. I would like this. Um, 6.5.0a. Awesome. It's available. You can install it on a Windows machine right there. And down here it's available as an appliance box like a standalone um, Linux ISO thing that just runs out of... The, it's kind of a black box. But... Um, yeah, you press uh, download now. If you have the right license and stuff, you get that right away. I you log in and then I get a big finger. I do not have permission to download this product. I could go get the free trial. It's right over here. I have to sign up for that. Um, apparently I've already used my free trial, so um, that was not really a possibility at the moment. That kind of sucks. So I thought we should go join the dark side of the internet. They have the cookies. Um, so I did another search. I found out what the I found out what the file name was of the file that I wanted. Um, this is actually the first edition that came out. But I picked up that file name. I found out what. What is the ISO file called? And I googled that. And number two hit here, Diggy Boy, turned out to be a honest and reliable source. Right here, there's a lot of um, text here that you, of course, would read and make sure that, that everything is okay. But down here, there's some very nice links. And they don't point to VMware. They have actually downloaded the files for you. Right here is vCenter for Windows. And right down here is vCenter appliance box. And that's the one I wanted. Uh, further down here, there is some... Um, that's the really dark side of the internet. Um, I'm not going to judge. Um, I downloaded that one. Just the ISO file. And it's actually down here. So that is the one we are going to be installing. And... Um, we're gonna be installing it on this server. And preparing for this video, I discovered I hadn't turned it on. So let's see if it answers now. 
I have been out pressing the little green button. Yeah, something is happening. There we are. So here is my server and that is also running in evaluation mode still and also running 6.0 but we're gonna install VMware but we're gonna be installing vCenter on this machine so we'll minimize that one and just keep this one open so where did the file go and they go into download and I have it here freshly downloaded awesome so it's an ISO file, so you can right click and you can mount that. And in here there is a CLI if you want to use command line interface. I'm not going to be using that, but there is also a UE. So we're going to go use the UE. There is for Linux, Mac and Windows. And there is a big fat installer right there, so we're going to hit that one. And we'll just minimize that. So here we get the options. vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 Installer. The first one, we can install a new one. And we're going to be using that one. Then we could upgrade an old one, which I tried, which I failed miserably in. But, um, well, if I had installed an older one with all the default settings, uh, it might have worked. Then we can migrate. If I was using the Windows version, I could convert it to a server appliance box and there's a restore you can go back previous create blah 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 something let's go install step one next agree to the license thing here here we can have one vCenter in one box or we can distribute it into more than one machine I'm guessing this would be great for external locations um, you could have one major in control and you could have some that would return data but my small home center thing here we're just gonna go with this um, all embedded one so next to that one and then we have to put in the host that's cool so I'll put in the IP number of the host and that address is good and then we need to put in a user uh, that would just be root for that one root and the password uh, that, That's the host and the and the root administrator on that host We get a certificate from the host. We will press yes to that one It will validate some data Hopefully it will communicate with my new and I put in the wrong password. There we are. Right password helps every time. Um, VMware name. So what do I usually call them? Um, let's see. Here. I call it vCenter Appliance 6.0. I think that's a good name. Or I think the 6.0... Uh, needs to be upgraded so we will just um, we will copy that kind of so away with you away with you and 6.5 then we need a root password okay now it says let's continue we can uh, we can make different sizes of databases for the for the appliance thing here. Um, I don't think you should overdo this. It doesn't really say how much this covers, but yeah, it eats up resources really quick, doesn't it? Uh, let's say hosts up to ten hosts, a hundred VMs. Let's just go small, small and storage size do we have a lot of storage i'll just go default that's i'm guessing this is fine it will already take four vcpus 16 gigs of ram 290 gigabytes of storage um so if you just pick a lot 
the large one, well, 24 V cores. That sucks, right? So uh, it's already using way too many resources. So where do we want to put this? Well, it really does not need to be on SSD storage, but this is kind of the only storage that I have in the system right now. So I guess it has to go on there. Way too expensive for that. Network. VM network. Yes. IP number. Static. Okay. We will give it a name and um, an IP number. And I have to go figure out what IP number and names I'm going to give it. So uh, I'll be right back when I figure that one out. So I tried to fill this out. It is complaining about the, the fully qualified name up here. It does not resolve in the DNS server. But let's see if um, if it won't be good anyway. Next. Uh, summary page. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're good. I, I picked this IP number for it, number 70. The last one was called 60. So um, it's an upgrade. I should probably call it 65. That would have been cool, actually. Hmm. Nah, we'll, we'll go with 70. Initializing. Okay, this looks like it could take just a little bit. Okay, it has reached 100%. Uh, that, that did take a while, but I was doing other stuff. So let's continue. See what it throws at us. Stage two. Set up vCenter server appliance. Okay, next. So we set up some time server stuff. Should we get our own? Let's, um, okay. We'll put in a time server. I'll get the, the Danish time server here. We will pick that one. Can we just pick them all? That would be... Okay, let's see, comma, separate list, okay, there, Server. that should be it, SSO access disabled, okay, we can always enable that later, next, SSO domain name, okay, we will call this with small letters, all of it. V center dot local dot local and the username administrator is good. We want small letters for that one. That's for sure. Give it a password. Confirm that site name. Do we need to get it? We we'll call it my playhouse. My playhouse. Next. Okay, so now we need to to log in. Log in as root. Oh. We'll try that again. Oh, it did that. That was weird. Uh, customer experience. Nah. So it gathered all of this. Okay. Let's see what it does with that. Finish. You will not be able to pass or stop. Mm, okay. You can always just delete it if something is wrong. Appliance set up in progress. 2%. This is a little bit uh, difficult setting this up. I don't think they haven't made this easy. It's as if this uh, isn't really finalized. Okay, that has completed as well. Uh, let's see, we get some addresses here. We might need to remember those. Let's just get all of this. Um, so this is the web interface for the client and this is Getting started page. Okay, so we need to go in there. I'll borrow that. Continue. And it closes that down and it 
Did it go there just by itself? Oh, over there. Okay, I'll try this one. Guess DNS is not up and running, so we'll put in the IP number instead. Okay, I cheated. I made sure that this IP number, number 70, answers to uh, vcenter.65.local, like that. I just put it in the host file, and that works fine. So we can minimize that. So up here we can go in here again. This should work now. With a little luck. There. Oh, it remembered that I had been logged in. I did test this, so I think we'll have to log out to try this again, actually. So let's log out there and then we'll log in. If it fixes that one, yes. And now it logs in again. We missed that part. So we have a working vCenter and it's complaining. You can see up here there are vCenter servers systems with expire. Ex yeah, more or less it's because I'm using a trial version on the server that I'm running this on and it complains about that. So here I can start building my vCenter as I like it and I would just go over here to my already running one. <laughs> this one and I would kind of build it up the same way. I want an external, I do have an external host and I do uh, put them in some folders like this and I will build it up the same way and kind of just move stuff over into this one. Try that. Well, new data center. Let's do that one. Do 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 do. do. Yes, so we will call that exactly the same thing. External. Well, it's called extant. That is Danish. I'm sure you get the point. External data center. We will have that there, and we will have my. I call that Lone Tower Visuals data center. We'll have that there. And I think we want a My Playhouse data center as well. My Playhouse. There. So we have some containers for some servers. So let's um, let's add a server. I just need to go check which one that is. Just a second. Okay, I have been out uh, turning on another server. And this is the first server that I tested ESXi 6.5 on. And it says 6.5.0 right here. So we're gonna try and um, and put this in our new vCenter. And we're gonna be putting it here under Lone Tower Visual uh, Servers. Nah, let's, let's put it under my Playhouse servers here, over here. There. Right click and add a host. So we can add the IP number of the host there and we can put it there and we can put the type which is kind of weird because we can't press anything. Huh? Next it wants the uh, password for the host. There, next, we get a certificate that we have to approve. And we, uh, if there was any virtual machines on this, they would be down here. I haven't put any virtual machines on it. So um, uh, it's not the best test in the world. I would have liked to try and move some over. But next, and uh, let's see, it's evaluation license. I haven't installed any license on this vCenter server. The vCenter server also will um, manage your licenses. 
So you take all the licenses and you put them inside of vCenter and um, you can you can give licenses to different servers from in here. So right now it's it's just have this evaluation license. So we got and it expires in 11 days. So next. Here we can choose if we want to lock down the new host. If we want to uh, make sure that no one else can do anything with it except if they're using vCenter. Um, I don't want that. I actually sometimes it's good to go around vCenter to do something. So I'll just dismiss that. That's okay. And it's about ready. Next and finish. And we should get our first host in here. It has a red dot right now, it's still working, completed. And it's up and running. So now I can see my host from in here. Get some summary on that. Let's see what we have. We have an IBM slash Lenovo. And it's the 3650 Model 1. Uh, it doesn't say Model 1, but it is the Model 1. And it has two Xeon X5450 tricky hertz and it should have 24 gigs of RAM. So awesome. This is working. I'm kind of curious. It uh, does not, it hasn't included the host that it's actually uh, on. So I think we'll try and uh, put that in. And that will be a host that will be up here. There. So we'll add a host to that one. That's the host that it's on. Next. Also, this is the IBM 3650 Model 4, EXXI 6.0, there. And it has two virtual machines, uh, one of them being the virtual appliance here. So, next. And it still doesn't have any licenses, so but this one has 40 days left. Okay, next and next, next and finish. So it's adding that down here, 80%. And done. Oh, it's just unhappy that uh, the license will expire in 10 days. Okay, vCenter is installed and I can start configuring this and putting in my licenses and stuff. So, uh, well. I really like VMware ESXi, but vCenter, it's a pain in the ass to work with. Um, when it's up and running, it's usually okay, it's no problem then. But upgrading it and doing weird shit with it, uh, it's, it's always a hassle. Probably made a lot of mistakes in this video. Um, if you have something that I should know, do leave it in the comments below. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.